Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and we are back with Football Manager 2021 and Hammer Time with West Ham United. And we've got ourselves a big game today, a, a difficult one as well. I don't know why I've picked this, but I have. We've taken on Man City away from home, former league champions, multiple time league champions in the past decade. Going to be a tough one, but we're only eight points behind them. We're having a really good run in the league. We are just two points behind Chelsea, though they have a game in hand. Things are going very, very well. We're five games left in the league. Hopefully we can stay in that top six and get some European football next year. So we just have those five league games left to play. Last episode, we went out in the FA Cup, a dramatic semi-final against Everton, which ended 4-3 to Everton after we led twice. Unfortunately, Everton in the second half started very strongly and took a 3-2 lead and eventually won 4-3. So our FA Cup run comes to an end at the semi-finals. It was a shame not to reach that final. I would have liked to have done the suit in this save. But never mind. Everton take on Arsenal in the FA Cup final. Off camera, I played a couple more matches. Uh, first of which was a 3-0 win away against Sheffield United. Good performance, but it was marred by uh, a couple of injuries. So we rotated a little bit for this. Andre Gomez started. Masuaku replaced Cresswell. And Kufal played his first game in a while. Unfortunately, got subbed just before halftime due to injury. Uh, we did lead at half-time Sebastian Ale with another goal uh, in just the sixth minute, an early one, and he's in great goal-scoring form at the moment, is Sebastian Ale. In the second half, we started well and got our second goal uh, after just two minutes, and it was Buendia with, I think, his eighth goal of the season. He's had a really good uh, run of form recently as well. And then it was 3-0, um, a bit of a free cone goal. Chris Basham put in it in his own net, and it kind of hit the crossbar. And then sort of went on of his back. So a bit unfortunate to score the own goal there, Basham. 3-0 win at Bramwell Lane. Good performance. And then we defeated Brighton by one goal to nil. Um, very strong defensive performance here. Just the one goal. And that came from Angelo Ogbonna in the second half. His third goal of the season. So yeah, a bigger win would have been nice here. But it's three points against a Brighton side that didn't offer too much. So in the Premier League, we haven't lost since that defeat against Liverpool. We are on a nine-match unbeaten run, I believe. Nine matches, yeah. Five games to go. Man City away today is going to be tough. We take on Burnley, Wolves, Sheffield United and Chelsea in our last four games. And as it stands, we are in sixth place. Spurs have had a rotten run of form and have not won in their last four games. So we have a six-point lead over Tottenham now in sixth place. And as mentioned, we are just two points behind Chelsea and eight behind Manchester City. So hopefully we can stay in this top six and then next season we'll have some Europa League football. We have got a strong lead over Wolves as well. That's eight points. And if we stay in that top seven, we'll have Europe. Of course, seventh place will get us the Europa Conference League. But let's see if we can get into the Europa League for next year. Not only did we lose Kufal in that Sheffield United game, we also lost Yarmolenko. And for a long time as well, an Achilles injury is going to keep Yarmolenko up for maybe up to five months. So we're not going to see him until September, October maybe, which is not good news. Kufal's injury, a little bit less severe. It's an ankle injury. He's going to be up for a week or two. And this is the side that won against Brighton. I think we'll try and keep this side if we can. Um, you know, with no FA Cup, the fixtures are going to be sort of going back to going every week, although we do have that game in hand against Wolves in there. So I think we can put out our strongest team here, and I think this is it. Uh, Damari Gray, I'm going to put onto the bench. I think he's fit enough for that. We'll start with Ben Rama, though. I want to see something from him, because we're going to have him permanently next year. He's only on a loan at the moment. And so far, I haven't been entirely impressed. We're away against Man City. I feel like we should be going defensive for this. So we are going to bring Masuaku and Johnson back a little bit and just have them a bit more defensive. Kind of do want to go for it, but, you know, we, we, we want to try and get some points. And if we can come away from the Etihad with a point, that would be great. So Man City with the starting eleven of Edison, Walker, Stones, Diaz, Laporte, Fernandinho, Gundogan, De Bruyne, Silva, Sterling and Aguero. So no left back, it seems, for City. Uh, Mendy's on the bench. Cancelo also on the bench. Laporte playing at left back is a strange one. Not a lot of attacking players on that bench. We've got Jesus and that's about it. No Foden, no Ferland Torres. A little bit of a lack of attacking players for City. We're the underdogs. Let's see if we can take a point from this. Um, they're in good form, Man City. They're going for the top title, of course. They're going for top. So we'll see how we do. They're in fourth place. So should we bring up the league table, actually? Let's do it. They're in fourth. They're 11 points behind Man United, who have a two-point lead at the moment. So, yeah, they've got an outside chance of a title, but it's looking less and less likely as the games go on. There's just five left. 
And there's a corner here for Man City as 15 minutes come up. De Bruyne is going to take it. And it's headed away by Thomas Suchek. And Bernardo Silva now on the ball. And he's going to go for goal and can only hit the side netting at the near post. So we've just got to try and frustrate Man City. I'm not too bothered about getting shots away in this one. If we can get a smash and grab win or a goal, that would be nice. Here's Bernardo Silva again. This time he volleys it and it's over. Again, I, I don't mind us not having too many shots. You know, we are big underdogs here. I do. I think I want to go cautious though. Let's try and counter if we can. Masawaka with a clearance. Here's Gundahan. Bernardo Silva. Aguero. Kyle Walker. Still going. He shot from a tight angle. If that had been Brindia doing that, he would have scored it. Okay, half time. We've kept him at bay. It's nil nil. See, I haven't really had that much of a chance. Walker was probably their best one and it hasn't even gone down as a chance. So, so far, okay, yeah, we haven't had a shot, but we haven't conceded either. As far as it stands, I'm pleased. Um, I'm going to say no pressure. Not expecting to get anything from this. If we can just stay as we are and get a point, that would be really, really good. I know it's not entirely entertaining, but I'm trying to pick up points here. Although Aguero's through here, good save, Fabianski. Corner, 53 minutes gone. Header away by Declan Rice. De Bruyne, about 40 yards out here. Finds Sterling. Fernandinho to Aguero. Bernardo Silva, got a lot of men behind the ball here, not allowing them to get into that 18-yard box. Walker. Oh, I feel like we should have gone in hard there. And Walker keeps going, and he <laughs> eventually scores. I mean, okay, a, a complaint last time was that people are not really squaring it and they're going for goals from a tight angle but that's twice now that we've seen that work Brandia did it for us now Kai Walker's done it he was right up by the corner flag Masuaku who really should just have gone for the tackle there he was outside the area I think we should go in hard on these guys let's do that now we're going to go attacking we want to try and get a goal get back into this so with about half an hour left we're going to try and go for it now but of course danger is we're going to open up and let City score more if Sterling has a shot that goes wide here's Laporte D up with a header away. Laporte again. De Bruyne to Fernandinho. And Sterling again goes for goal, but they're not getting close to that goal, you know. They're firing from range at the moment. Masuaku's picked up a bit of a knock. Cresswell's going to replace him. And I do wonder if we can have someone play slightly deeper. Maybe Bowen back here. We're going to have Bowen as... A defensive winger. I know we want to try and get a goal from this, but I think just giving Cresswell a bit of help on this right-hand side would be beneficial. We're going to swap around Sochek and Fournals as well. Do you know Disciplinary-wise, we've been really good this year. I think we've had one red card and very few suspensions even. I think we've only had one suspension. So disciplinary-wise, these guys are doing really, really well. And that's a great ball by Fournals for Ale. And Sebastian Allaire always put it wide. That was a big chance to go equalise there and get it to 1-1. One, one. He should have scored that. Right, we're going to fire them up. 20 minutes left to try and get something from this game. It's only 1-0. It's entirely possible. We're going to go very attacking. And do you know what? We're going to get another striker up there. So Jack's going to come off. Carlos Fernandez is going to come on. And we're going to go much more direct as well. Last five minutes. I, it's only 1-0. I'm actually okay with this. We haven't really got done much going forward. Had one good chance there. But you know what? With a minute left in normal time, it's only 1-0. I'm actually okay. And we could still get a goal. There's five minutes of stoppage time. Let's see if we can. There was a clearance, which didn't really go anywhere. Fernandinho to Rodri. Aguero. And Gabriel Jesus has got their first. Oh, that should have been on target. That's disappointing for him. Okay, we've had the five minutes. It's full time. It's only 1-0. Do you know what? I'm okay with that. Bowen and Fournals doing all right. Defensively, we weren't too bad. Didn't really make any big mistakes. Fabianski with a 7.1 rating in goal as well. He was our best player out there. Yeah, I'm actually not, I'm, I'm okay. We weren't expecting to get anything from that. So I'm all right. I'm not disappointed at all. It was a, <laughs> it, it was a difficult match for me to pick. Um, achievement unlocked. He's a natural. I wonder what that's for. But yeah, that could have been so much heavier. 1-0 is fine. That achievement, he's a natural, is for retraining a player to become natural into a new position. I wonder who had done that for then. Maybe Rice as that centre-back? Declan Rice has perfected his ability to play in his new position. He's been playing at centre-back the whole time. So he's now a natural centre-back. 
and that Libero as well. We've done really well to get him trained up in that. And I mean, he's still doing his training as a defensive midfielder. So let's get him training as a Libero support. I don't know why we haven't even been doing that. I, I really haven't been looking at training too much. The only thing that I've really done is in the calendar, I've tried to replace some of these physical bits with other stuff because they don't really like the physical stuff. There's not enough, that there's too much quickness and strength. So I've been putting in things like um, team building because that doesn't get added at all, I don't think, that I've seen. So um, that's kind of what we're doing is that we're getting rid of some of those physical sessions and we're putting other things like team building and community outreach, things that, you know, don't really affect conditioning too much, but it's more bonding and more morale. So a 1-0 defeat to Man City, that does end a nine-match unbeaten run, but were we really expecting to get anything from that? I don't think we were. Spurs do now have a game in hand over us. If they win that, they will go just three points behind us. So let's see what happens with Tottenham. They haven't won in a while. They had a four match winless run I think so we'll see what happens with them Spurs do get a 2-0 win against Burnley so they are just three points behind us now so it's going to be very very close I think what we'll do is we're going to play Burnley and Wolves off camera and next episode we'll have a double to end the season as we host Sheffield United and then we take on Chelsea away from home that's going to be a tough match at Chelsea they are just ahead of us in the table but that's going to be difficult we've got Sheffield United at home as well hopefully we can win that one and I guess we'll see where we finish. If we can stay in the top six, that would be amazing. Seventh, I wouldn't be too disappointed with. We'll see the Europa Conference League, which would be kind of nice to see, actually. Because the Europa Conference League, you know, you're not going to see the big European teams like the Barcelonas and the PSGs. I feel like they're going to be some teams that you don't often see matches against. So it might be quite fun. Although, obviously, I want to get the Europa League because it's a bigger competition. But any European football for next season would be great. Before we go today... It is Thursday, so time for our second featured Thursday. Last week, it was Dodgy Gamer. This week, it's Kahuna Gaming. Kahuna Gaming is an interesting one, right? They're on 6.8k subscribers, almost 7,000 subs. It's a channel that's recently become under new management, which is something that I don't think I've ever seen with a football manager channel. If there is another instance of this, then do let me know. But basically, the channel used to be run by uh, Bobby G Gaming, who is someone that has... Um, stopped making YouTube content and is now focused on blogging for Football Manager. So this is basically a two-in-one because we're promoting Kahuna Gaming. We're now also promoting Bobby G's um, blog, which is on uh, Lutterworth Fox's blog. So Kahuna Gaming has taken the reins of the channel for FM21. As you can see, he's got a beta series with Aston Villa on the go. Uh, and also uh, we've got some team guides here for some Premier League sides. I'm guessing there are going to be the other 10 coming up soon. Uh, also got Irish Academy announcement. So the main save, as far as I can see, it's um, an Irish team playing in the Premier League. So that should be quite interesting. But yeah, uh, Kahuna Gaming is our featured Thursday creator this week. And also go and check out Bobby G Gaming's um, blog. I'll leave that in the description as well. So a bit of a two-in-one today. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments. If you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. And next episode, we'll have the end of our first season with West Ham. We host Sheffield United. We then have Chelsea away from home. The final two games of the Premier League. Let's see if we can stay in that top six and get a Europa League finish for next season. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.